In uh, today's science video, uh, we're going to do a couple of wee experiments with balloons. And uh, while it's lots of fun, we're going to practice Newton's first law, which is actually the law of inertia, which I'll explain at the end of the video, um, rather than spoiling it now. And um, we'll also have one wee experiment where it explains the first, Newton's first law, but also creates some sound, so we get a bit of vibration happening as well. So all we need to do uh, for this, or all we need to have, is uh, a balloon, and a coin, and a balloon, and a hexagonal nut. Now you can try out with different size coins, different size nuts, different size balloons, and that sort of thing. Um, what we'll do, we'll do the coin one first, so we just need to put the coin into the balloon, and we want to put it all the way in so it actually drops into the main body of the balloon. Just being careful not to split the balloon. Um, pop that in. Once the, the coin's in, it's just sitting in there now. I'm going to blow the balloon up. Feel free to tie a, uh, a knot in it, but just whatever works. So the coin's in there. Oh, and already you can probably hear, not sure if you can see, but that coin is just spinning around without me doing anything. So that's Newton's first law, which explains inertia. And as I say, at the end of the video, I'll um, explain a little bit more about um, inertia. So that is the coin in the balloon. It'd be really interesting to try with different size um, coins, and maybe some countries have different shaped coins to see if it does the same. It just wants to keep going. <laughs> and now it stops. So that's that one. And now we'll try and put a little hexagonal nut into um, the balloon and just see what difference that makes. So just the same thing, just make sure it's all the way in, just being careful not to put a hole in the balloon. So that's now in, I'll blow that up. So of course the difference between the coin and the hexagonal nut is of course the coin that I use was nice and round um, and very, very thin, whereas the nut has got more surface to it. Um, and we'll just see what that does. So, similar thing, clearly a lot louder. And I can actually feel, in my hand, I can feel the balloon vibrating. Which, as I said at the start, is kind of explaining Newton's first law, but also causing vibrations. And we know that um, sound is caused by vibrating. So, let's give it one more go. So there's two really, really simple things you can do to explain Newton's first law and also how sound is made. And I'll have a wee thing at the end of the video to explain a wee bit more. 